Hello, this is Michael from Function Tiles, and I want to show you a hack or a workaround to save yourself some time to test fitment and make adjustments to your slicer settings before you print tons and tons and tons of, of, of your stage top parts. This trick will help you save, save you overall time and filament, just making sure that you test the critical components fit together and work together before you start massing printing because there are a bunch of settings and tolerances and things that need to change. So this is a really quick way to dial in and figure it out uh, before wasting a ton of filament and a ton of time. So there's a couple of slices that I know of that have a planar cut capability, which is what we need to be able to isolate parts of the file that we want to just do this ourselves and because of the commercial uh, because of the license nature I can't just make these files and share them with you uh, maybe stage top I, I did bring this up to stage top in a uh, they, they use what's called nubs right so during the AMA stage top talked about using nubs and what they use for quick testing and rapid testing they may release these to us in the future and this may become irrelevant or moot but if you want to create your own nubs which are, or, are just small testing pieces then uh, this is how to do it. Now I can't share these files with you because you can't you because of the no alteration clause on it. Like I can make these files for myself as just a quick and dirty test, but I can't share the files externally per se. Um, hopefully, StageTop will release nubs in the future, but it's very easy to do. You can do this in two softwares that I know of right now: uh, Lychee Slicer, which is the one that I like to use or you can do this in, in Prusa Slicer. Prusa Slicer has a, a, a basic cut capability, but I much prefer it in, in Lychee Slicer. It is a component of Pro, so you have to have a Pro license. It's a relatively inexpensive subscription, so I, I recommend it. And there's a ton of things that you can use Lychee for that are gonna be relevant for different extra, you know, extra projects that have to do with them, um, that have to do with uh, uh, cool things with remixable play tiles and, and etc. So if we're, you know, the first thing that we should be printing up when starting on getting our stage top table all put together is the core or the frame, which is it, which is in the core folder. Now, the most important pieces that we need to test are this section right here, which is where the leg meets the frame. And the next most important piece is the tile lock section. So we can cut these out individually, print them and test them without having to print all the rest of the material. So to do that, you just highlight this in Lychee and there's a tool here uh, called Planar Cut. And you go ahead and launch Planar Cut and hit start. And now we're going to use this rotation tool to isolate. So I'm gonna flip this up 90 degrees Right? and we're gonna isolate this middle section. So I'm gonna move this here. It doesn't matter what, what gets cut off or doesn't get cut off as long as you don't cut off anything here. Right? You, you, might, you wanna leave enough for a flat surface so that it prints and you don't have to support it or do anything else crazy. So make this as close to 90 degrees as possible. And once you have that locked in, you can see where your cut line is gonna be, then just hit the apply button, right? It's gonna it's gonna cut that file, and we can cut and cut over and over and over again. So right, all we're gonna do is we're just gonna isolate again and again until we get only what we need to print in order to do our first test, which would be a, a leg fit test. Okay, so I'm gonna snap this to ninety degrees. I'm gonna bring this over here. Hit apply again. It's gonna cut those into a pieces. We're gonna delete, we're gonna highlight and delete anything that we don't need. And for all intents and purposes, I could cut more material away, but for all intents and purposes, this is gonna be much faster to print than, uh, than just the, the whole frame itself. So once you've isolated your test section that you then wanna to prepare to print, all you need to do to get it ready to print is go to file, export selected 3D model, and then save this to a location as an STL file. And when you open it up within your slicer, it will be ready to print.
and then you'll be able to print just this section. <laughs> and then once you've done that, you can grab a leg and you can do the same thing with the leg and just trying to find your your nub is that is kind of the term that, that, that you're looking for and you're just going to use your planar cut capability you're going to adjust this all the way up here just to the part that you need remove this excess uh, before you print this you can use the on plate tool and just go ahead and click that so that way it opens up on the plate when you export this as an STL and now we have just the nub which is the the screw component that will lock into the uh, into the frame and we can export this and print it and then one more action that you should take for for fitment is taking the frame one more time and planar cutting out a tile lock section. So we'll just pick one. I'm going to snap this to 90 degrees. Cut this in half. the rotation tools to just isolate out one of the tile lock parts. Oh man, that's super crooked. You're going to want to leave enough flat surface so that you're sh you can get this to, you know, this is a pretty good example. You can cut away more and more material if you want. Really, you just kind of want this, um, this section with two. I think it's pretty good, so I'm just going to do one more here. I'm going to rotate. This piece off. I mean, for all intents and purposes, this is pretty good. You can you can continue to cut away more and more material until you just get these two tie lock parts um, and then export this, of course. Name your file, you know, your little test pieces and then print them out along with uh, some tile locks and you can even do the same thing for your frame lock you would print your frame lock just out the hole but you can print your frame and if you want you can cut just this section right here cutting this section off right here. Actually, that's probably a better idea than cutting out the tile lock individually. If you just cut this section right here, you have two tile locks, uh, two frame locks, intersections, and two tile locks. And if you printed this twice and tested your frame lock, tile lock, uh, uh, frame lock and tile lock, as well as your light connection, you are money in the bank, you waste less material. Uh, you will be able to dial in your fit and fitment much faster and much quicker and then once you have those dialed in then then you can print frame after frame after frame after frame with those settings and this will this will hopefully save you some time some money and uh, some some frustration thanks for watching uh, please click subscribe hit the notification bell uh, appreciate it and happy printing